this is why you won't see Nonito Dunyer versus Abner Mares. Top rank Golden Boy Promotions. Um, will they come to an agreement even on a fight so small to the scale of a Mayweather Pacquiao? It's because of bragging rights and pissing rights. Nobody wants to give in either side. It's like a jockeying for a position. And everybody wants to protect their own interests. Abner Morris is the uh, pretty much golden boy created fighter. It's their first fighter they've ever created. Like, not created, but started from scratch. From the beginning all the way to now. They have never developed a fighter before that they had solely on their own. People have to understand Golden Boy Promotions is a very young company. They've only been around, I'm going to say, maybe 11 years, 12 years. They just started. So they're going against companies that's been in the game longer than they have. You're looking at Bob Arum's been doing this for 40, 50 years, and all these other companies as well. And you have new problems with networks now being promoters. They want to take the reins of being promoters and cut the promoters out. ESPN's not even paying like uh, fees to promoters anymore. So that's even lesser money that's going to the promoters. So it's a, it's a dirty game. People got to try to jockey for their position to fit in. But it's a lot of politics into the reasons of these fights not happening. Danielle would love to fight these guys. Love to fight them, but you can only fight a couple of fights. And the fans, the majority of them are hypocrites. It's just the truth. They don't know what they want. You know, and the problem is the fans only go by the fact that you're only as good as your last fight because their memory banks can't go back three, four fights. That's why when things happen, when you see a robbery or something in the ring, you're going to be outraged about that into the next fight. And then it's going to fade off, and then you won't even remember it anymore. You won't even care about it anymore. So, the whole thing is this. People now want Nonito Dunier to fight Riggin now. Salido wins. Now they want him to fight Orlando Salido. Then he wants to fight Gamboa, which he thought would be a much better fight. It's more exciting, more engaging. But you said Mayweather was born, but Rigondeaux should fight Donier. And Rigondeaux is a complete boxer. And that would be another chess match. And then you said, no, Nito needs to be an exciting fight, but we want you to fight Rigondeaux. It makes zero sense. Zero. Now you have a Salimo. Guerrero involved and he is like the second coming of Pernell Whitaker as far as his boxing style it doesn't really make for an exciting fight for the conventional fan but for for real boxing heads this is a great fight for us as far as a chess match but it will be another chess match and the Mars now you got fireworks that's a firework type of fight, and it's something that would bring interest to the boxing world the way it should be brought to the table. And in the link, I'm going to put the conversation with me and Floyd. Uh, a lot of people heard it, haven't seen it. Uh, and I've sent you the link in the inbox. You probably didn't get it. You probably did get it. I, I don't know. But I'm going to do it here again, this time on the scale where you, I always do it. So make sure you guys get to see it. And you can tell me what you think about it. I'm gone.